it a boom or a pain? The internet was first developed by the Americans in the 1960s as a form of communication that could withstand biological and nuclear warfare. Uh, it was made for that purpose. However, uh, during the latter part, during the 1990s, uh, people were uh, too enthusiastic and were curious about the internet. And so people began using it. And the government wasn't able to control it. And so, so it grew exponentially until it was already uh, used for public view. The internet basically is a vast resource for basically anything in the However, its use can result to a few known disorders or abnormalities. One of the known good side of the internet is that everything you need is under one heading or under the internet. Uh, basically, basically, like I said, anything you want to know is in the internet. You can often look for information elsewhere, libraries, etc. However, wouldn't you rather uh, uh, find it in the, in the comfort of your own home, in your own house? Since the internet is used by all modern people, it contains all sorts of stuff, down from the very, from the most crappiest thing you can ever imagine, to the most top secret that is supposedly not for public viewing, but can still be found in anything. It links you with the world. The internet offers social networking, mainly, uh, for example, Facebook, friends, or the like. Uh, however, it's not just social networking. You can actually play online games or chat online, which can connect you internationally to other people around the world. You can have a friend who has migrated in other countries and you can still contact them. Or you can make new friends wherein when you make, when you go to their country, you can meet them and know, know them better. It is actually globalization in its small way. It's a life but less complicated. Certain search engines like Google or Yahoo and the like uh, make, make your internet life easier. Because there are a lot of sources in the net, but not everyone knows every site that has that contains whatever they need. So these search engines help you a lot in finding these internet sites. You just type in, like for example, a very short statement about the topic, and you can find a lot of results that can help you discover what you need to find out. However, the internet doesn't is not always good. It also has side effects or repercussions. One is that it causes indifference. Indifference in a way that techies or people who spend more time in front of the internet or the computer have a hard time socializing. It's like they relate their online life with their real life. That's why they have a problem talking to other people. And they can only, they can only relate with people who have the same hobbies as them. Uh, social development can sometimes lead to depression, as can be said by our psychology, psychology professors. It can also remove, result to emo actions like paglalaslas and the like. Uh, it is also uh, it can also lead to addiction, which I will show a video about what happens when you are too addicted to This is a video of someone whose account was cancelled by a robot, by his mom. And look at what he does. He does it like, That's his little brother who is secretly stuck with camera and says,
using YouTube, just type cancel Bob account, and you can see uh, that video. Uh, People who use the internet eventually rely on it too much. Uh, as we all know, in the old school, people used to go to libraries, public libraries, everywhere to search for, link, for the information they need. However, during, during our period, our era, we rely too much on the internet. And that's why uh, people tend to become lazy or to lack. To, to lack. Uh, Knowledge can be attained through any means at any time. The internet is an ultimate source of knowledge, but one must learn how to use it properly. Another thing to take information before I end my speech is that, uh, especially for the ladies, is that they have to learn how to secure their online information because there are a lot of sex offenders. I cannot, I cannot uh, place my my the research I found on the internet regarding the, those sex offenders because it is too obscene. But there are a lot of things, cases that where you can just contact this person. Even if you don't tell their personal information, they will know you and they can come to your house and do some sort of harassment. Thank you.